Hey, good morning. It's Kim Krumpus from the Price Action Traders Institute, and it's Wednesday, September 13th. I've been trading the euro dollar this morning. This is my second trade, and it seems very painful to watch this, but I thought I'd actually show you live this trade, so let's get that trade called up. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the second trade I'm in. It's a yellow line pullback right here, short from let's see where am I short from 15 and I'm looking for a drop here down into 80 this morning and like I said this trade has come close twice here and just most recently here so again I'm targeting down here and of course waiting and wondering is it actually gonna make it so I think what I'll do is I will go ahead and pause the screencast and then come back on if the trade moves or begins to move okay we're back and price is now just coming through the 80 and I'm looking for my trade to be limited out here in just a flash hopefully on this candle and if not I may just take it off so remember I have a limit set at 80 and price needs to drop below that to take me out of this trade so I'll give it another I don't know maybe till the candle closes if it doesn't take me out I'll take myself out I'm going to go ahead and pause right now. Okay, so you can see that candle closed. It just closed right above the 80. So I'm going to give it just a little more here, see if it just happens to just drop. I just need it to drop a teeny bit, like another pip and 1.3 pips, something like that. This is when trading can get nerve wracking for a lot of traders is waiting for that final push. And this one's pretty close, but others where you get within five or even 10 pips from your target, the, the natural tendency is to want to pull that trade off. So um, hard to sit with your anxiety. And you can see it pulled back there a little bit. And again, because of the spread, it still hasn't taken me out. I, it missed it by 0.1. All right, so hopefully this time it'll like actually punch through the level and actually limit me out for 35 pips. Or not. I'm going to go ahead and pause. So this is interesting. You can see prices bouncing around and came up actually to threaten my 20 pip stop, but um, I'm trying to stick with this trade. Again, this is hard to do, even for me, um, but I'm okay even if it hits my protective stop for plus 20. So we'll see what it does. Okay, so I'm back here with an update, and you should be able to see here that my trade is now coming back and may take me out here for 20 pips so or sorry yeah 20 pips that's where the stop loss is the protective stop loss is and we may see that actually happen live here on the video so some may question and there we go so that trade came out with plus 20 which I'm really happy about I took plus 20 on the second trade and then on this first trade up here, I just want to go over this for Paul. Paul, I hope you're listening. There was an RBO right here this morning. We had this in a range, and it broke out of the range. And price actually went down from 61 down into 50. And because the market was actually moving, I took it off at the next level down at 20, which was right here on this candle. And once I got out, I thought, you know what, I want to get in the second trade. The market hasn't really stopped. The dollar seems to be continuing to be strong across the board. And I would like to go ahead and take that. So 
on that first trade on the RBO, I booked plus 43 pips. And then here, there was a news trade I took this morning on the PPI, month over month news, and I booked a minus six. So total on this trade was, what, 57 pips? Oops. Which to me is a very successful trade. All right, so I hope that helps you in your trading somehow, listening to my thinking and watching the actual video. All right, thank you.